Okay, we can go ahead and start the meeting this evening. Um, if everybody can go ahead, let's do um, a roll call. No, Matt Beatty this evening. Timmy Moore's here. Mark Beeler's here. Ray Russell is not. David Nolner. David Thomas. Brian Crook. Leslie Overman. Okay, if you guys could, we're going to be re reviewing minutes from January 29th. If you could go ahead and look over those. The last time that we met, we were only able to have a discussion and we didn't have a quorum. So we have to go over this agenda tonight. That was the last agenda that we had, unfortunately. Right, technically April was just a work session. So if everybody could review the previous um, minutes and when you've reviewed those, let me know. Motion to approve the minutes. Motion by Brian Cook, second by David Thomas. Okay, next we need to set the agenda. If everybody could look over the items. Okay, uh, motion to accept previous minutes. vote. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we need to go over the agenda and set it. So unfortunately, I know a lot has happened since this agenda, but we have to stick to this agenda because it's already been, um, this is the one that was given out to us. So we'll have to use meetings in the future to go over things further than what's here. Motion to set the agenda. All in favor? Is there anybody here that could talk over the um, ambulance monthly report? Okay, we can go ahead and go to uh, fire. And unfortunately, we have to stick to the items that are on this agenda, even if more things have happened since then. So um, the, do you want to step forward? Over here to the podium. Rush truck status, we're waiting on um, frame or suspension components on the truck that's at Blankenship's. Uh, we've been waiting for months and months on some of these suspension. He does have a frame, but um, the suspension components we do not have. Um, the new brush truck, uh, I have tried to get updates from our sales rep. Uh, I believe the company is far behind on putting it together, farther behind than they led us to believe. Uh, right now, he's dodging my phone calls and my emails, so I'm guessing he does not have good news to give me. Uh, we'll get it when we get it. We had ordered new gear for most of our firemen uh, several months ago. All of that has um, been uh, received and paid. We lacked 
uh, three sets, uh, a set for myself, a set for the two assistant chiefs. We postponed hours because there was not enough money uh, between county money and the Enbridge grant to cover uh, all of us. So we postponed getting ours and then uh, there isn't, there was enough money in the budget before the closeout of the budget year. And we went ahead and ordered those three sets. So they're in order status. Uh, it took us about four months to get the other sets. So that's more or less what I'm expecting on uh, these last three sets. And that'll basically have all of our uh, current and active and full-time uh, firemen in new turnout gear. 100th anniversary has come and gone. It was in April. Uh, we did a celebration at the station. We're doing monthly training. I'm not sure what you're wanting uh, with this line item, but we do monthly training uh, at the station. Most recently, we uh, participated with uh, Life Flight and did a tail watch class about bringing a helicopter in and all the components on the helicopter. Uh, if they have to crash land, we know where the shutoffs are inside the cabin so that we can disengage the fuel sources and electricals. Um, we did that at the fire station uh, at our last uh, meeting. What do you want on training instructors? You had tra had some trainees coming up that they didn't know if they had instructions for instructors for. Pardon me. You had some trainees coming up that they didn't know that if they had instructors for. Yes, we assistant chiefs put together the training each month, and uh, we can schedule that utilizing either internal training from our own members, or we will bring in uh, training instructors from some of the nearby fire departments, in particular, uh, Carthage and uh, Lafayette. Um, Lafayette's getting ready to offer a uh, the 64-hour uh, state-offered class uh, we've got two that should be eligible to go through that. Um, that'll be at no cost, just time to participate in the in the class. Burn permits, David. I'll I'll yield to you because I was not at the session the other night when you all discussed this. So at codes and zoning, we're still uh, working through the burn permit and blasting permits. Uh, we're hoping to get something wrote down on paper for the uh, burn permit, just to get it in a an ordinance form so that everyone can look at it. Uh, we've made some good headway working through the language. Um, Rick's been very helpful with that. Um, Mr. Buckmaster was very helpful at the meeting, kind of walking through some definitions for us. Uh, the blasting permit, um, we did make some uh, headway on that, uh, answering some of the questions that came from the commission. Um, we'll be working on that again uh, on the next meeting just to get all the finished language so we have something to present. The per diem increase, I had uh, requested that the fireman's pay uh, be increased from its current status at $30 to $50 per call uh, and training that they attended. We put the budget together with the $30 numbers uh, because this committee had not met at that point to move this resolution uh, in any direction. Uh, so our budget is built on 30. Uh, the request is still out there. Uh, to raise the fireman's pay to uh, 50. Uh, the fire pay has not been changed uh, since 2016. Uh, it was elevated to $30 uh, at that point uh, and has not moved at all uh, since that period of time. 
and I'd like to have meetings in uh, September and October uh, to go ahead and discuss that. And after that, it could be sent to budget uh, for um, their approval or what they want to do with it. Correct. Fire typically pays um, the 1st of December uh, annually. Uh, we do it all in one lump sum for the previous 12 months. So our pay year runs from December 1 to uh, November 30th. Um, so if you choose to raise this during the year, that can happen. If you choose to raise this and make it become effective with the next budget cycle, that can happen too. So we've got some options to work with on that. Uh, in the resolution that uh, I had drafted on it, uh, I requested that uh, rescue be treated in the same fashion as fire. Uh, their pay per call and fire pay per call uh, historically has always been at the same level. So if you raise one or move one, uh, I would hope you move both. Other questions? Uh, just that final thing. Uh, so we were supposed to meet before the budget went in. Um, just if you had any thoughts or questions before you submitted your budget was just the last item that was on here. We've put some money into the budget so that we can um, buy some other pieces of hard equipment. Uh, we need ladders, we need foam. Uh, those are typically one-time purchase items. Uh, so some of the money that we had earmarked for turnout gear in the previous budget, we roll that dollar amount into the new budget and we'll use it to pick off and, and do some other um, hard equipment, single purchase items. We did increase the line item with um, uh, trucks. Uh, your fleet is an aging fleet. Um, your first truck is a 2008. Second truck, uh, backup, second backup is a, a 1991. So you got lots of age on your primary two trucks. Um, the new tanker is a combination tanker pumper but it typically is not rigged in the same manner to use it as a, a first line uh, response vehicle uh, for a structure fire. Um, but that will be another thing to come in the near future would be uh, money for trucks. Trucks will typically run you those trucks to replace them comparably equipped, uh, probably between 500,000 and 700,000. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Probably closer to uh, eight or 900,000, David. Uh, you could get a reasonably small, pardon me, two million. Okay, Ken saying two million on a on a ladder. I haven't seen prices. I haven't looked for prices uh, in recently on a uh, on a ladder. Uh, that might be the next thing that you wish to look for would be to replace a primary pumper with a, uh, a ladder pumper. Fire trucks are like everything else. They're very specially made and the price goes up astronomically on them. I 
I don't disagree with you. Our two older trucks um we get service done on them regularly so at the present time they're still running and performing and passing all their state pump tests just like they should questions okay. anybody else have questions okay all right thank you Rescue, Timmy, were you going to talk? You don't have the package, so do you want me to tell you the, the items? Uh, I got a little bit of it right here. Uh, reports on vehicles, all of our stuff's up to date. Everything's running, no troubles with them. Uh, repairs to the building, still need repairs. We still got mold, still got water running in through the back. Uh, the surplus items, which I don't know we donated, well, we swapped over to Rescue 3, which was going to be a surplus to the fire department. So that takes care. The Tahoe has been striped. I don't know if any of y'all seen it. It's pretty. Uh, training. We have been doing training. Uh, we've done extrication. We've done the tail watch. We do have trainings coming up. We got CPR certified coming up. And uh, search and rescue. And then uh, training instructors. I do have one that I can always call on to get. Okay, well, that's been done. And the budget, right now we're setting at 21000 as of this month. That's about it. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm experiencing that. Because we've had a lot of rain from this hurricane. We, how's our river rescue? Is it up or we still need the new? A boat or, or is Ray working on that or we've got one boat. We got one boat right now that we use and then we got two WRA boats that sits up there with ours. Uh-huh. And uh as far as our swift water trailer, we've got inflatable boats. Uh, members. We are down on members on the swift water part. Uh -huh. Which we got some that's willing to take the class. We just got to get them in that class. Okay. Any other questions? Um, during budget hearings, we discussed uh, the per diem pay for the fire department and the rescue. And part of the uh, the holdup was the amount of calls and the people the amount of responders to every rescue call. Um, and Mr. Beatty had said that he was gonna implement some change in that. Can you explain? <clears throat> yes, there's been changes. We have stopped all of our medical for like, we do, we do a lift assist, but they got to page out twice and they got to request lift assist. But as uh, far as medical, we don't respond to medical anymore. Unless you're certified. So do you know um, the difference in your um, your call volume? Like, do you have numbers? Or you can get numbers for the next meeting? I can get numbers, but it's down right now. Any other questions? No, nope, that's all. Thanks, Timmy.
Okay, guys, so this is all that we have on our agenda for this evening. I know it's small. I know we have a lot more that we need to talk about. Uh, so I would like to everybody look at their calendar and see when we can have another meeting set up because there are big things that we need to talk about. So if we did Wednesdays, it would need to be at 5 p.m. Could anybody pull that off? A 5 p.m. meeting on Wednesdays? I have. Um, I have Awanas at, at church. I'm a leader this year, so I can't do anything after 6 o'clock on Wednesdays. Okay, what Tuesday is good for you guys in September? And I will try to um, get somebody to work for me. Are we having an executive meeting on the 3rd? Let's see, where did the election commission and the water, where do they meet at, at the... Okay, so we could meet Tuesday the 10th at 6 p.m.? Okay. Okay, then we will go ahead and try to set this for the 10th at 6 p.m. And we'll be here again. All right. Thank everybody for coming. I'm glad we were able to have this meeting. It's been a little bit. Um, I know we have a lot more that we need to go over to kind of get up to date, but um, see everybody.